The thing that's really important to understand about quantum computing is just how fast the performance changes from interesting mm -hmm. but a side project to everything. So right now, the quantum computers we're building about match the largest supercomputers on Earth for some very narrow sets of problems. The quantum computers we're going to be releasing next year with 256 qubits, these systems won't just outperform the largest supercomputers that exist to date. They'll outperform the largest supercomputers that humanity will ever build. If you look at the amount of power you'd need, just power alone, to build something with equivalent performance out of conventional technology, you need about one billion times the amount of electricity the Earth currently generates. So these systems, in a year or so, will be the best com yeah. computers you can ever get. These are mind-boggling numbers and hard for the layperson to kind of wrap their head around. And you and the team have set yourself some very ambitious targets, and you point to 2026 in terms of the number of qubits and the power that that gives your compute then. What are the biggest technical bottlenecks at this point, Chris? Well, it's good, hard engineering. It takes blood, sweat, tears and capital. But we're now at the point, and this is why the market's so exciting, we're now at the point where we've already demonstrated in lab settings what we need to do to deliver systems, not just in 2026 or 2027, but the systems we need for the performance of 2030. That's now demonstrated, and it's a matter of engineering and integrating these systems together.